welcome to welcome to superior profit morning market meeting 11th february 2019 i am sagan nandi chief analyst and trader at superior profit based in singapore i will not take time to introduce myself if you are interested to know more about me the company or more importantly how it can help in your trading you may visit the website superiorprofit.co and click on the about menu before we begin we go through the standard disclaimer this demonstration is for educational purposes only it is designed to share information on superior profits trading system the information presented here should only be used by people who are aware of the risk inherent in trading past performance is no guarantee of future return superior profit is not an investment advisor this session is not for any recommendation of buying or selling stock or any other instrument superior profit will have no liability for any investment decision made by its audience as usual we'll use queue systems on the live market and carry out top down bottom up and inside based identification of trade opportunities that was the last slide of the presentation let's move to live system today as usual we will look at the global markets using technical charts then we will carry out top down as well as bottom up analysis in top down analysis we will look for some bullish trade setup and some bearish trade setup starting from industry drilling down into fundamentals and then looking into technicals in bottom up analysis we'll use q sonar scans to find different trade setups and then look up the stock's fundamentals and its industry strength we we'll look at bullish breakout with pressure and u turn we we'll look at some stocks at weekly memory trend line support the weekly long term memory trend line support tends to provide very robust support and we can often buy the stocks at a very low price if you watch the earlier market roundups you know that that was a way to identify the very early buying opportunity in the oil futures that was some time ago we'll also try to find some stocks that are displaying squeeze release and see if there is any tradable stock there now before all these topics let me comment briefly on the market the market is going up steadily if we look at the e mini futures this is e mini futures s&p 500 using our standard weekly and daily at a glance template since christmas of last year the market is steadily going up without any pullback this was the bottom in the daily chart you can say this was the only pullback since then it is steadily going up when that happens at the market level you will see the same thing happening with many many stocks and therefore it is difficult to find low risk buying opportunities in e mini futures the low risk buy opportunity was here after that there was no easy buying opportunity no low risk buying opportunity and being disciplined traders in q systems and approach we avoid chasing the stocks now is it true that many of the stocks are also extended what does it mean to be extended it means it may be close to the upper boundary level or it may be overbought one of them before going through the topics let me run a scan and i will use metastock for that
let me go to explorer then i'm going to look for stocks that are above slow direction line above very slow direction line so they are in confirmed uptrend and then i will look for go with flow that is the trend following long opportunity i will run all of them together use the results from the preceding ex exploration so result of one scan will go to the second scan and let me choose this list a list of 274 stocks in the USA market which has liquid options narrow B task spread let me order the sequence the explorations properly first running the scan to find stocks above very slow direction then above slow direction and finally running the go with flow trend following long setup what we are going to do is look at the output of these three scans the final scan we look at and see if they are in a low risk buy point we have start starting with 274 stocks we ended with only eight stocks let's open them one by one i'll go to chart choose the first stock from the exploration result open with the standard at a glance template this is adobe very strong stock interestingly in the weekly chart it displayed the bearish headwind from which it declined sharply then it displayed a bullish headwind at the very bottom from there it is going up in straight line in the weekly chart now it broke above the memory trend line resistance now our swing trades are taken based on daily interval and here though we have a possible trend following long trade with a cyan flow color candle it is too close to the upper boundary level let's move on to the next stock Here we have a cyan color candle, but price is very close to the memory trend line resistance. It is in a triangle pattern. So here we have no trade setup. CLF, it is also above the upper boundary line. CSX again too close to the upper boundary line by the way all of these stocks are above the yellow direction line above the white direction line and giving a cyan flow color candle that is a possible trend following long trade setup that was what we scanned for so we could start with 274 stocks and we don't have to go through all of them we just need to go through handful of stocks that came out from the scans here you have fox a foxa again very close to the upper boundary line next eli lily this one is reasonably away from the upper boundary line this is the only stock we found so far However, we wouldn't take a long trade on Friday because of the upper candle tail, upper tail of the Friday's candle. If the tail was not there, then we could take a long trade at Friday's market close. We would of course look at the fundamental also and industry also, but technically, if the tail was not there, we could consider LLLE for a trend following long trade setup for swing trading. 
but it is a hypothetical trade because we had the upper tail, so we didn't have any gold flow setup. Then metal is far above the upper boundary line. MRK too close to the upper boundary line. Also too close to the memory resistance line. And back to Adobe. So we ran the scan for all the stocks that are in confirmed uptrend above white, above yellow direction line, slow and very slow direction lines. And looking for trend following long setup and we didn't find any. That is what we expect when the stock market goes up without any pullback for so many days, so many weeks in fact. However, using the 360 degrees analysis, we may be able to find some low risk entry opportunities. They may not be trend following long setups, but they may be reversal setups or breakout setups. We we'll look at them, but let us start with the global markets. AXJO, Australian index. After displaying the bullish headwind, it is continuing to go up. Today in the daily chart, it displayed a bearish headwind signal. There is no bearish headwind trade setup because the weekly is still bullish. So if somebody is holding a long position in AXJO, the appropriate action will be to apply a trailing stop. There is no long opportunity right now and there is no short setup also. Hong Kong market, Hang Seng index. It is also recovering almost in straight line. It went up right from the memory support line. That was the weekly memory trend line support from where it went up. That is what I mentioned a while ago. The weekly memory supports often provide us with very low risk and low level buying opportunities. We'll scan for that also today. In the daily chart, it is going up. It's above upper boundary line. From the stretch band, we can see it is overbought. So there is no low risk entry point. So we make two kinds of statements. Is the instrument bullish? The answer is yes. That is one statement. The second is, do we have a long trade setup that is low risk? The answer will be no. We don't have any low risk long trade setup right now because it is overbought. We distinguish between an instrument being bullish and giving us a low risk buying opportunity. You will find in the current market situation, there are not many low risk buying opportunities that are trend following. Let's see China market. CSI index also recovering both in weekly and daily. Daily is above the upper boundary line. It is overbought as shown by the stretch band. So there is no low risk buying opportunity. However, it is bullish. India Nifty index. Earlier, this index used to be the strongest, not anymore. It's continuing to move sideways. Try to break above the watermark resistance in daily, but pull back inside. Now, if it goes up and gives us a sign color candle, that may give us a trend following go through a long trade setup. It has broken out of the watermark resistance and we are not in favor of breakout trade, so we don't try to chase the instrument. Now it has pulled back. If it goes up, gives a sign color candle, that would be a low risk buying opportunity. Currently it is moving sideways, you can say. It broke out, but the breakout failed and came back inside the range. FTSE index. 
UK index. Going up very close to the upper boundary line. So we are not going to take a swing long trade right now. It is bullish. The weekly candle color and shape is also bullish. So all the global indices that we study other than India's NFT, all the rest are bullish, but there is no low risk buying opportunity. Now we are going to look for some stocks using top down analysis. But before I do that, let me run some of the scans because they may take some time. Later on, we are going to look for stocks with bullish breakout and bullish pressure U turn. Let me run the scans both in Q Elite and Q Global. In Q Global, I'm going to run for long breakout plus bullish U turn. Okay. Go to Explorer, clear all the previous explorers, choose long breakout and bullish pressure with U turn. Going to run it on the same list of liquid stocks. I can run breakout first and choose for U turn next. That is fine. Let me run that. And now let me go back to Q Elite, go to scan. Let me run the scan for pressure U turn bullish. But let me make sure what instrument is running on. It is running on Q scan symbol list. Let me make sure that I choose the option list with the liquid options. This one. Run. While they are running, let me go back to our top down analysis study. We are going to look at information technology sector that is very strong. Then look into application software industry that is one of the strongest. Then we we'll look for value stocks with increasing earnings growth. And we'll find M, A, and H. Let's carry out these steps. In QH, we have all the sectors analyzed across 12 months and then more frequently over recent periods to give us a scorecard and heat map. If we double click on the column header, we can sort them in ascending order or descending order by double clicking again. Cyan is strength. So information technology sector is one of the strongest sectors now. I can click the binocular to drill down into the underlying industries. These are the information technology industries. Let me double click again on the five days column. Application software is the strongest industry in information technology. It had been strong for a while. Let me drill down into the stocks. These are the stocks. If I sort by valuation column, I get the value stocks. Optimal value stocks, they are shown by cyan color. I am looking for value stocks with improving earnings growth. So I can delete the rest of the stocks, which are overvalued or medium valued. Then I sort by the EPS latest quarter column. M A N H is a stock, not the best growth among all these stocks, but it has improving earnings growth. From minus six two quarters ago to minus 3.9 one quarter ago to 2.2 in the current quarter. Let's 
let's look at the technical charts for MANH. I can use Q Elite for that. In the weekly chart, MANH came to the watermark support, displayed a bull release signal, and from there went up. These double bottoms often give very low risk buying opportunities. In Q systems, we have two kinds of supports that provide very low risk buying opportunities, allows us to buy at the very low points. points. One is the deep watermark support level like we have in this case and sometimes we also have memory trend line support. It refers here that was 28th December. So in the daily chart actually I can align them. So in the daily chart, I drew a vertical line that is where it bounced from the weekly watermark support. Since then, we could start to look for a buying opportunity. Then we had a cyan color candle that was a possible trend following long trade setup. By that time, stock was starting to go up with a higher low. But that candle had a long upper tail. So we wouldn't initiate the trade at the close of the cyan color candle. Instead, we would use intraday fine tune chart next day to take the long trade. And we could book partial profit. That was the first trend following long trade setup we could take after this drop in the weekly and the daily chart. Now, we can see it almost in straight line went up, never pulled back enough. After earnings, it had a gap up open, but fell down sharply, found support at the white and yellow direction lines. Next candle was an up candle, but yellow color and on Friday we had a cyan color candle. Price is above upper boundary. However, this is a case where the stock was in a downtrend and now starting to go up. Therefore, it would be okay to take the trade at upper boundary level. Entry could be at Friday's close and stop would be just below recent low, just below the yellow direction line. And you could try to book partial profit when it hit the high of this gap up candle after earnings day. So MANH is in a strong industry, sector is strong. Fundamentals are strong also because it's a value stock. Earnings is not great but improving, but it's okay. We have a value stock and it is giving us a reasonably low risk entry opportunity. And we could find this using the top down analysis. That was a bullish trade we could find from top-down analysis starting from QH. Now for bearish trade, let's look in energy sector, then drill down into oil and gas drilling industry. For bullish opportunity, we looked for value stocks and now for bearish trade setup, we are going to look for overvalued stocks. For bullish setup, we were looking for increasing earnings growth. Now we are going to look for negative earnings growth. And we'll find RDC as one candidate stock. We may look at ESV and any also, they are in the same industry. Back to QH, refreshing everything. In QH, in real time, it calculates sector industry stock scorecard. It presents us with a view. 
and we carry out one exercise like we did trying to find bullish trade setups with top-down approach after that we can refresh the data everything comes to the view from the cache memory where things are calculated in real time so every time we click the refresh button here we have the latest streaming data presented on the view i saw it again by five days column energy is the worst performing shock sector so if i'm looking for bearish opportunities this is a good place to start drill down into the industries sort the industries oil and gas drilling is one of the weakest the second weakest industry in energy sector let's drill down into the stocks we have these few stocks in stock scorecard i'm sorting by valuation and i'm going to look for overvalued stocks so let me double click again and remove the medium valued and optimally valued stocks i'm left with three all of them are overvalued all of them have very negative earnings growth rdc is one of them and then we have esv and any let's look at all of them using q charts i have set the technical trading system to q elite so if i highlight these three stocks and i can highlight using any of the columns or i can also drag like that click on the chart icon that will copy the ticker symbols and i can paste them in radar let's look at rdc first in the weekly chart rdc went up almost in straight line as oil was also recovering then we had a bearish shape candle with very long upper tail in q approach we are always cautious when we see such a candle and then we had a second week with similar bearish shape candle the color is still bullish color is still bullish because it had a strong up move almost in straight line and we had two bearish shape candles but price didn't drop much not yet that's why the color didn't change in the daily chart it went straight from the lower boundary to the upper boundary line crossed the yellow direction line moved sideways for a while and on friday fell below the memory trend line support and closed below the yellow direction line as well and it gave us a magenta color candle because it went up in a straight line you can think of it as a down move try to go up and then declining again giving lower high also at the right edge it is not following all the checklist conditions for a go with flow short trade setup namely the weekly candle color is not magenta but looking at the very bearish shape of this week's can previous week's candle previous two weeks candles and the fact that it broke below the memory support and the sector and industry all are very weak you may consider taking a short trade putting stop just above the recent high it is allowing us to have a very narrow stop short entry also when we see multiple stocks in the same industry are giving similar pattern we have more confidence in taking that directional trend we had found three stocks in the same industry all of them are overvalued all of them have negative earnings growth rdc was one of them let's look at ne the second one very similar pattern in the weekly it recovered then moved sideways and then drop here the magenta color candle came 
in the daily chart on Thursday. So you could short it on Thursday itself. By Friday, you would have some profit, small profit. The last stock in the industry was ESV. Very similar pattern. In the weekly, it went up, then moved sideways, very shape candle last week and in daily moving sideways hasn't broken below the memory support yet but it seems ready to break below the memory support if the industry continues to weaken so out of these three i thought rdc has the best looking chart that is ready to short now because it is below the memory resistance not resistance, it is below the memory support and below the yellow direction line. That is how we can find bullish as well as bearish trades, starting with Q edge, then look at its industry fundamental, finally use Q charts to look at technical. Now let us carry out the bottom up analysis. We ran the scans for finding stocks with bullish pressure U-turn in Q Elite and Q Global both. Let's look at Q Elite first. From our list of liquid option stocks, we found only EA in Q Elite. And if I go to Meta Stock. we found EA and it also had a long breakout setup that is electronic arts. In Q Global, we could combine multiple scans and let the result of one be fed into the second scan. So in single run, we can find EA that is matching both the conditions. It has bullish U-turn pressure and it has a long breakout setup. In Q Elite, we found EA. Now we can type EA or copy paste EA into the sonar dashboard. And then we can see from the U turn column, we indeed have U turn bullish. And from the breakout column, we can see it is a breakout candidate. Let's look at its technical charts now. Electronic art. In the, day, in the weekly chart, it was going up from the bottom, then moved sideways for a while. Last week had earnings. Initially, it dropped and then it recovered. The drop was sharp and the recovery was equally sharp. We can see that in daily chart, there was a huge gap down move after earnings in the daily chart. Then on Thursday and Friday, it recovered. On Friday, it broke above both of these memory resistance lines. That's why it was selected by the breakout scan. And we can see it had extreme bullish pressure, both on Thursday and Friday, both of which also happened to be bullish U-turn days. Now this is already close to the upper boundary line, but it is looking very bullish. One way you could try to enter a long trade is to wait to see if it pulls back a little bit, maybe to the watermark resistance line that could act as support now and go up from there. That would give us a low risk entry opportunity. Alternatively, you can see if it is moving sideways for a while or zigzag, zigzag and then breaking above the high of this strongly bullish candle. That would also give a low risk entry opportunity. You could put stop just below this zigzag move if that happens. A third approach could be to use the intraday entry chart, fine tune chart, which would be this template. 
and see that after the early range high and early range low forms if it breaks out to the upside and gives us a narrow stop entry opportunity that would be an approach that you could use if the stock is not pulling back and is continuing to go up we found this stock by running scans on both q global and q elite that was one top down analysis not top down that was one bottom up analysis and let me run another bottom up analysis looking for stocks at weekly memory trend line support let me run it on q elite and q global both q elite stocks at weekly memory trend line support let me choose the correct symbol list i want to run it on the same list for both q global and q elite so i'm choosing the list to it list of stocks with liquid option run that and i run the same in q global go to explorers deselect everything then choose memory trend line support change the interval to weekly i have the same symbol list and run the explorer Q Global has completed the run. We have Verizon, Sprint, both the telecom stocks, McDonald's, Restaurant, TLT, I think it's the Bond, ABBV, and Amron in pharmaceutical or biotech industry. Let's focus. Let's avoid the biotech stocks. They tend to be volatile. We'll avoid TLT also. It's not a stock, it's a bond. We could look at MCD, McDonald, Sprint, and Verizon. What about Q Elite? Still running. Okay, let's look at the stocks. And in Q Global, we could just click on open chart. This is Sprint. It is at a weekly support, but it is also inside a triangle pattern in the weekly and daily. It would be better if the daily also came to the memory support, but it So let me avoid that stock. Let me open the next one. Verizon. This one looks much better. Just now, what I was mentioning here, it came to the daily memory support as well. And weekly is at memory support. Every time it came to that memory support, it recovered. This is not a trend following trade setup, but this is a possible bounce setup from memory support both in weekly and daily and we have a bull release signal it was oversold we can see that from the stretch signal in red color and now the very stretch has gone away we have the bull release signal we could buy the stock here put stop just below the memory trend line support very low risk entry opportunity in Verizon and then we had McDonald.
McDonald dropped and came very close to the memory support in weekly and also in daily. There are two ways to trade this kind of setup. One is to wait for the bull release signal. We can see it is showing very stretch. It is oversold. If today or tomorrow it goes up, then the oversold condition will go away and we'll have a bull release signal similar to this up arrow. That would give us a very low risk bound straight setup from both weekly and daily memory supports. Now, sometimes it is possible to take a trade when it came down and hit the memory support without waiting for the bull release to come. Meaning you would be able to short on this day without waiting for recovery of this distance. Something like that you can buy earlier. But if you are doing that, then key approach is not to do that using stocks. We want to have some more edges in our favor and that is possible by taking time in our favor by not buying the stock but taking the trade with options verticals, short put verticals or bull put spread as you can call it also. So if you are going to take a long trade in McDonald right now, then you could take it with short put verticals. If the short leg is out of the money, then you could probably set up a spread with one is to three or better reward risk ratio. Those trades often end up with profit because it is at a support now in both weekly and daily. By the way, if you look at TLT, the bond that also came at support, okay, it is bouncing up from support. Now you notice one thing, now MCD is in a situation like TLT was on this candle. It came down, hit the memory support, didn't go up yet. That was 18th Jan. So Jan. 18th Jan will be here. 16th, 17th, 18th Jan here. This day in the daily chart. So it was on this candle that you could consider taking a long trade using short put vertical. And then it went up. So the short put vertical would be very profitable by now. The situation that TLT was on this candle in weekly, on this candle in daily, we have the same situation in MCD today. It came down to weekly and memory support both. In those situations, short put vertical bullish trade tends to work pretty well. However, before doing that, we would like to check out the industry and fundamentals. We'd like to do that for both MCD and Verizon that we studied earlier. Verizon is already bouncing up from the memory support. It has displayed the bull release. Let's look at their fundamentals. Let's start with Verizon. Verizon pays a dividend also 4.4%. It has medium valuation. Valuation is in yellow color in the score and earnings growth is improving. It is not only bright green, but it is improving from previous quarter. Therefore, fundamentally, it is a strong stock and it is in integrated telecom industry. Let's check out the industry's status from QH. Refresh the industry list. We can filter from here, integrated telecom.
we can see that it is weak. The industry is weak. If we expand the latest days, both for pace and score, then we can see there is some acceleration. So it is okay probably to take a stock looking at the acceleration that is shown by the cyan colors in the pace columns, especially the pace two days column. The chart, technical chart of Verizon stock in this industry that is fundamentally okay. That gives a low risk entry opportunity. This is Verizon. Let's look at McDonald's fundamentals. MCD Okay, my connection to Thomson Reuters may be very slow. It is taking time to refresh the data. Maybe because I'm running the webinar. Let me try to find MCD from QH. Many of the liquid stocks are in QH also. Okay, this is McDonald we can see the valuation is not good. It is not optimally valued, though it has steady growth. Not even bright green, not even increasing, at least in the quarterly periods, it is just steady growth. And if we click the peer analysis button, this button, it will also show us the industry. The industry was weak earlier in recent months. Over five days, it improved and it is showing acceleration under five days. So last week, the industry accelerated. It is in consumer discretionary. I mentioned in the weekly market roundup that consumer discretionary as a sector was very weak. We can see that from the sector tab. However, it is the most accelerating sector. And I mentioned there may be several buying opportunities in this sector. While people are very worried that consumers are now more negative about the economy, about everything. But those may be the times when you can look for good buying opportunities. Not follow the news, but follow the system. Consumer discretionary accelerated and so did restaurants industry. And in that we have MCD and MCD came down to support in weekly and daily. It may be ready to bounce. You may wait for the bull release signal to come. Then you could buy it using stock as well. Or if you were willing to buy now, you could take it using short put particle. Let's go back to QLA. We ran the same scan for stocks at memory trend line support and we have MCD there also, AMRN there also and TLT there also. So we found MCD and VZ Verizon as giving possible long trade finding support at weekly and memory, weekly and daily memory. Lastly, let me run the squeeze release scan. I will run it again on both Q Elite and Q Global. Q Elite first. Squeeze release. Run it on the same set of instruments. And in Q Global, let me close this.
squeeze release squeeze release on the same instrument and i will change the interval back to daily start the exploration Metastock is faster than trade station as far as running scans is concerned that you can see. We have found two stocks that are coming out of squeeze. We don't know whether it is going to the upside after squeeze release or downside. We'll find out CVE and MAT metal. And Q Elite also found the same two stocks, CVE and metal. Let's look at them. CVE is oil and gas exploration. And we saw energy is the worst performing sector. So probably CVE broke out to the downside and metal is in consumer cyclical, which is consumer discretionary, which is the most accelerating sector. So this could break out to the upside, but let's find out. Yes, indeed, CVE going down. In fact, on Thursday, it gave a trend following short trade setup. There was also a trend following short trade setup in the daily chart on this magenta candle. In the daily chart, when a stock is going down, and in this case, we can see that from the memory resistance line, when it is going down, the magenta candles give us trend following short trade setups go with flow short trades on thursday we had one let's look at the volatility template it was inside the squeeze just starting to come out of the squeeze the red dots show that it was inside the squeeze the green dot on the upper and the lower bands coming on Friday shows that it's just starting to come out of squeeze. This is declining. This is a possible short trade setup. Weekly also has bearish candle color and shape both. Then we had metal, MAT. It had a huge earnings up move. Weekly is very bullish now. Daily was inside a squeeze. We can see the squeeze started from here and it exploded to the upside. Let's look at the volatility chart. The squeeze release is very evident. It was in a very narrow range in a squeeze for many days shown by the red dots. On Friday, it exploded to the upside. In CVE, we found a low risk short entry on Thursday. Here it gapped up a lot. So we would follow the same approach as in the case of EA that also had a strong up move. We will see if it is moving in sideways fashion and then breaking out of the high of this gap up candle that would give us a low risk entry or wait for it to pull back a little bit and then go up again. Buying right now without waiting will be not safe, not the key way of trading. Those were the topics I plan to cover. I have two more minutes. Let's have a look at the futures. As I mentioned in the beginning of this webinar and also in the weekly market roundup, the market S&P 500 even went up almost in straight line. The weekly is bullish in color. So we are not thinking of taking any short trade. At the same time in the daily, it is too close to memory resistance. So we are not thinking of taking any long trade either. Best thing would be to patiently wait. However, Using top down or bottom up analysis, we could always find trades just like we did now, where the technical strength, fundamental strength, and industry strength are aligned. 
what about NQ? Nasdaq e mini futures. It is close to the upper boundary line. It is stronger than S&P 500, but also close to the upper boundary line. Russell 2000 futures, RTY, bullish in weekly, but very close to the upper boundary and even closer to the memory resistance in daily. And Dow Jones industrials, also very close to the memory resistance and upper boundary in daily. Not a safe place to take swing long trades. That is all that I plan to share in today's session. Thank you for joining. I look forward to seeing you in our next session. Have a great week and trade profitably.